Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. And what do you need to know at this moment? So whenever you see this, it will be the right time. And as always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you're interested in a personal reading, all of the infos in the description box below. Okay. I'm seeing that there's something that you felt like, or you may have been feeling like there's something you're just not really seeing clearly with this moon. It feels like um, there's something you're unsure or uncertain about here regarding a person and like distance. So there could be distance here. And I feel like you've been trying to um, gain more clarity or insight This could be regarding a home situation with this Ten of Pentacles here. Um, that it seems like there's something that you're just like unsure about. And I feel like you've been wanting to build like a very stable home life, uh, financial wealth for yourself. and um, But there's something that I feel like you've been, I'm hearing homesick. Someone feels homesick that I feel like you're wanting to kind of um, revisit and see if and see if you can work towards um, a more stable home situation and there's this person around you who feels like they've been planning something They've been content and they've been happy with where they are and like where they are with you and in their life. And I see them wanting to start something new, like have a new, a new foundation here. And I feel like you have been getting certain instincts, like gut instincts with this spiritual awakening. What is this about? About a mother or baby mother? Something that you just see as like not really growing or feeling like something, something is, um, something's off. And you're trying to figure out what that is. But you're getting to this place where you are just allowing things to unfold naturally without um, without forcing it to. So with this Tang Man, I feel like you've been trying to get a different perspective and you've been in this place where instead of forcing an outcome or resisting certain things, you're just being. You're just being in the present moment allowing things to come towards you and you're surrendering to the moment it's like okay maybe i don't know everything to a situation um so whatever i need to know will come to me whatever it is that i need to know will i'll end up figuring it out and i don't need to fight for the truth or need to fight for um information it's just gonna happen type of feeling that I see you in because you're very protective. I feel like you're very protective over what you've worked for and like your sense of stability. And you're, it's like you're protecting it at all costs. And if that means letting certain things go and just being in the moment, it's like, so be it. I feel like you haven't given up though. 
or you're not willing to give up. It feels like you've been going uphill for a while and you have responsibilities. Uh, Eight of Cups Reverse though. Yeah, it feels like there's still something that you're struggling with uh, moving forward from. And you may be like contemplating a decision. And I feel like for some of you, maybe this has been on your mind for a while now. Like for the past month. You're viewing somebody as a world. And we do have distance here. So again, like I feel like there's there's distance. Someone, someone lives somewhere else. On the, the opposite side of the world. Maybe even by like a large body of water. But yeah, there's like separation through distance. But this person is like, ooh. As you're letting go, or like the moment you start to just release the fighting or, or pushing for, for a certain like outcome, is like the moment things start to get good. Like someone is making plans. Someone has already made these plans and is preparing to come towards you. Like, I see this person on a journey, and you may even get an invitation from this person, but this person is, like, falling in love with you. Oh, look at all these love bubbles coming out this cup. Like, they, they are following their heart towards you. Even though you're not taking action, it's like they're coming in. And with this party, you may be considering, like, going to a party or... A gathering could be connecting with the Pisces cancer Scorpio so they see you like you have um, been going back and forth with like a decision In regards to a home. And they want to, I'm hearing options. They want to give you different like options or different like choices for you. And this is coming from their heart. They want to present you with different choices or different options. Because there's something that they're no longer giving their time or their energy to anymore. Wow. Because they want to come towards you the right way. They want to they want to be someone that you can rely on or you can depend on. Look at that. Like they're reaching their hand out to you. With this pentacle and the 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 water coming here, it's like they want to offer you a commitment and it's also very emotional. It's coming from their heart. So you got this person coming from a distance, maybe even like from overseas, trying to see you, wanting to, wanting to present you with different opportunities. And you know, you know this is happening, High Priestess. It's like you've had that gut instinct before, but you know, you know like they're coming towards you. You've known it the whole time. And that's why you're you're not taking action or you're just allowing things to be. It's like you're just trusting in the divine. You know that you don't have to fight for something that's already yours. Some of you have been anxious. It's like because maybe you've waited some time, it's been you've been anxious over it. Oh my gosh, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. You have a partnership. This person wants to be on your side. They want to meet you where you're at. Like, this person, they they see you as their perfect match. And 
they want to meet you at your standards or your boundaries that you have. They're ready to meet you where you are. And you knew this. You knew this was going to happen. I feel like you've been trying to change certain circumstances in your life here. Um, and you've been having a hard time leaving something behind. But things are going to change. Things are changing as we speak. Someone is coming out of hermit mode and this could be you you you've been you're coming out of hermit mode you're getting out there the, or this person's also again we saw that they're coming towards you you're gonna end up seeing things differently A huge discovery Ooh. <laughs> This person has a very tempting offer to make you. Like, it's like they're coming here like, what do you want? You want ice cream? You want some money? What do you want? We saw all of those, the seven of cups, like they're trying to present you with different options. Like, you want a house? You want, what do you want? You want a partnership? You want support? It's like, it's a lot. Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like, yeah, this has been a long time coming. You've been waiting for a long time or you've just been like in this hanged man or like inside a lot hermiting for a long time. But you've known the whole time that like what you've what you've been wanting or what you've been sensing is is coming to you. And it's it's better than you thought. Literally. Tell me about this discovery. Toxic connection. So you're discovering, uh, you're starting to see people for what they really are as well. And you're, you're coming to certain realizations of who's worth fighting for and what's not worth fighting for. Someone could have been in a toxic relationship or toxic connection and someone may open up about that. Yeah, a marriage, like a toxic marriage that has um, delayed a situation. Mystery. But what you've been feeling is a mystery. Um, things are about to become more clear. I'm hearing... Someone has a hard time reading you. They get they have a hard read like they they have difficulties reading you. And you I feel like you may have had difficulties reading a situation as well. But things are coming things are going to get more clear. You're going to end up knowing the reality of the situation. You're coming into union. I'm really feeling strongly someone was like in a toxic marriage, which is why things were delayed for so long. But now someone's like free. I'm seeing the number 18, 12, 2, 9, the letters S, A, D, P, V, E, I, J. So those numbers, they could be birthdays, the letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. It's what I'm picking up. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.